Ford's new Granada breaks new ground and sets new standards in the large and luxury car segments of the British market. The car features a five-door hatchback design in this elegant body shell, offering enormous interior space. Aerodynamic, certainly, but not merely slavishly following aerodynamics to the exclusion of everything else, but using aerodynamics to produce benefits for the owner. But the real story behind this exciting new car is to be found as much in the features that you can't see as the things you can. Because as we go through those features and the model range, I promise you will see unfolding a story not just of excellent design, but of the highest standards of engineering and the closest attention to detail. At launch, New Granada is available in three models. The lead-in and highly specced Granada GL, the brilliant Granada Gear, which, as we will see, more than justifies its distinguished name. And this is a new departure for Ford, the new top-of-the-range Granada, the Scorpio. We'll be taking a close look at the features of each of the models in the range. So we're going to start here with the Granada GL. And as we take a look at the features of this car, we can pick up many of the features which are common to all the new Granadas. For a start, Granada's all-steel construction has been designed to achieve unprecedented standards of manufacturing excellence. 91% of all the spot welds are fully automated. That means they're performed faultlessly, time after time, by sophisticated robots. But perhaps more importantly, the original design demanded the use of new high-strength alloys, and that means that the total number of spot welds has been reduced by about 20%. The manufacturing process involves sophisticated electronic checking of component fit, using instruments capable of measuring down to just two microns. The doors are interesting in themselves. They're assembled offline, having first been offered up to the body to ensure perfect fit. They're also fitted with lift-off door hinges. In other words, if the door should ever be damaged in an accident, the new door can be replaced and still achieve the same standard of perfect fit time after time, in fact. What's not going to be so easy is to break into a new Granada. This, believe it or not, is the key that operates both the doors and the ignition. It's been developed by Ford in association with Chubb, the world-famous locksmiths, and it operates a new Granada deadlock for much increased security. Bear in mind, too, that all Granadas are fitted with standard central locking. While we're talking about the door area, note to this bottom sill ceiling strip here for further quietness on the inside. Another example of attention to detail. Moving further down the car, we discover that the windscreen, like the rear screen and the rear quarter windows, is directly bonded, reinforcing the structural rigidity of the car, but also contributing to a story of improved airflow management. Talking of which, the windscreen wipers, made largely from non-corroding material to eliminate rust, are also set in below the line of the bonnet, so providing a smooth airflow up and over the car. Here, underneath the wheel arches, both front and rear, a tough plastic inner wheel arch liner. Now, of course, this will have an effect on minimizing corrosion, but that's not its prime purpose. It's been designed in so that the noise of water thrown up by the road wheels has less chance of permeating into the passenger compartment. And down at the front, not only an air dam here, but also halogen headlamps, of course, and driving lights integral with the headlamp assembly. The drip rails here in the roof are concealed, partly for styling reasons, partly for better airflow management. All Granadas feature a lockable fuel filler cap, giving access to a brand new fuel filler system, which really does permit first time filling to the brim without those annoying blowbacks. At the rear, as at the front, impact absorbing bumpers. They'll take an impact up to about two miles an hour. Ideal for those tricky car park situations. Integral with the rear light clusters, a pair of high density rear fog lamps. And a rather unusual feature about the tailgate wash wipe. Apart from normal operation on the switch, it will also start automatically when reverse gear is selected and the front wipers are on. So far, then, a range of premium features common to all Granadas. It's the GL badge here at the back that tells you the series. The GL, by the way, has five and a half inch steel wheels with silver full wheel covers and manual remote control mirrors on both driver and passenger side. 
Moving to the interior and starting right here, we discover that all Granadas are fitted with a really prime feature. It's this. Just unlock the lever and you have a fully adjustable steering column. Not just up and down by several inches, but also in and out. So you can set the steering wheel to the position that's exactly right for you. The GL has comprehensive instrumentation, including an instrument panel light rear stat. Intermittent variable wipe is standard on all Granada models, and they all feature a three-speed heater fan assisting a highly sophisticated heating and ventilation system, providing warm air through four adjustable face-level vents. Now, the front seats are fully adjustable too, not just for rake and reach, but for height. See how much headroom I've got at the moment. Pretty generous, isn't it? And yet this seat is at its highest position. Watch what happens when I lower it. Not only do I find the perfect seating position for me, but look how much headroom I've got now. Even more impressive. The seat trim on the GL is strobe cloth, and all Granadas feature these new, smaller, fully adjustable head restraints, designed that way so that rear seat passengers get a better view out. There's almost an embarrassment of stowage space. There are large bins here in the doors. There's a driver's shelf down here, a useful shelf for the passengers there. On the GL, this large tipping glove box right there. And there's a trinket tray here in the middle and a small coin rack. All Granadas, too, feature a standard fit six-speaker in-car entertainment system. Only the type of radio cassette changes by series. The courtesy light, by the way, works when any of the four doors is open. In the rear, one's presented with a very large and extremely comfortable compartment offering best-in-class legroom. But, of course, New Granada's styling allows for much more to be made of the hatchback configuration. The rear seat is split asymmetrically, offering a 60-40 arrangement, so literally any combination can be arrived at. In this form, for instance, with all seats down, the luggage capacity is 47.7 cubic feet. There's even a stowage box here in the spare wheel. You'd expect a car like New Granada to perform well, and with its choice of power units from the economical 1.8 litre right through to the powerful 2.8 electronically fuel-injected engine, coupled, of course, to the standard fit Ford five-speed gearbox, you'd be absolutely right. They do perform well. Take, for instance, the four-cylinder two-litre unit. Now, that'll reach 60 miles an hour from a standing start in just 10.7 seconds, return a top speed of 117 miles an hour and still produce economy figures of 45.6 miles to the gallon at a steady 56 miles an hour. All Granada engines are electronically managed using either the ESC2, that's the electronic spark control system for carburetor engines, or the remarkable EEC4, electronic engine management for the fuel injected ones. Now, EEC4 is quite probably the most advanced electronic engine management system in the world, giving you all the power of a small computer under the bonnet. And like many computers, it can produce some remarkable statistics. For instance, it can distinguish between two events occurring within three millionths of a second. It could, if you asked it nicely, store over 200 pages of a standard collegiate dictionary. So, New Granada has excellent engines and sophisticated electronic control. It maximizes these benefits with a superb suspension system. At the front, a proven McPherson strut system. At the rear, a refined semi-trailing arm system. But perhaps more important than the way New Granada goes is the way New Granada stops. You see, for the first time it's believed on any volume production car in the world, Ford's New Granada is fitted with anti-lock braking as a standard feature. Now, this is a highly advanced, electronically controlled system employing sensors on each of the four wheels, very similar to the kind of systems employed in modern jet aircraft. Its principal advantage is not that it stops the car quicker, but that because the wheels are prevented from locking, control of the steering remains with the driver even under the hardest braking conditions. We've seen, then, Granada's exciting styling, its comfort, its remarkable attention to detail, and how it goes and stops. And we've also looked at the features of Granada GL. Let's now move and discuss the additional features to be found on the luxurious Granada gear. New Granada gear, which carries classic gear badging, offers tinted glass, 
bright mouldings on lower backlight, upper door frames and belt. The driver and passenger mirrors are not only power operated but heated. The wheel covers have a distinctive overlapping rim. Inside there are a number of detail changes for extra comfort and luxury. For instance, there's a rear courtesy light. Then there's this ingenious thing. It may look curious, but it works really well. It's a seat pneumatic lumbar adjust. You pump it up like that. And you really can set the stiffness of the seat back to your precise requirements. All four windows are power operated. The front ones from switches here in the armrest, the rear ones from switches here in the middle. And there's a lockout switch for those rear windows so that you can prevent kids from opening the windows if you don't want them to. The instrumentation, really comprehensive. There's a tachometer. There's also the famous Ford outline display there telling you everything from low ambient temperature to doors or tailgate ajar. There's a useful coin box here with a lid and the SRT32P stereo radio cassette is also standard on Granada gear. The glove box is both cantilevered and illuminated. There's also a full-length centre console here with a useful armrest lifted up. You've got a little box, ideal for cassettes. Up here, the courtesy light is built into the overhead console, which also incorporates a multifunction digital clock. A manual sunroof is a standard feature on Granada gear. In terms of trim, the colour-keyed carpet also appears on the door bins and the seats are trimmed in Savoyan crushed velour fabric. While here in the rear, the seats have mat pockets in their backs. And here's a nice touch, a separate heater control for the rear compartment. The integral head restraints are interesting as careful designers ensure that they don't have to be laboriously removed when the rear seat is folded down. A further small example of Ford's attention to detail. I told you the car would live up to its distinguished name. Talking of names, here's a name that's new to every Ford salesman in the United Kingdom. Scorpio. A name that will shortly become synonymous with the very ultimate in large car luxury. There's no doubt that Ford's new Granada Scorpio is the highest specified Ford ever to come off the production line. It is very much a top-of-the-range model. At the front, additional front fog lights are integral with the air dam. Headlamp wash is also standard. Granada Scorpio features six-inch alloy road wheels, reducing the unsprung weight. And the lower body side features a unique full-depth bonded body side moulding with a bright insert. The moulding is finished in one of a number of special stone chip resistant paints. The rear compartment provides an excellent example of how the interior appointments to be found on the most modern of jet passenger aircraft are now being discovered on the most modern passenger cars. It's a feature which is probably unique on any production car anywhere in the world. Just watch this. A power operated rear seat back. Indeed, each segment of the seat may be adjusted through 15 degrees so that rear passengers can adjust the back of that seat to their precise requirements. What's more, there are footwell courtesy lights in the rear and the overhead courtesy light stays on for a few seconds after the doors have been closed, a further convenience feature. While the doors feature not only red warning lights, but also on the front, a small lamp set here on the underside of the door itself to illuminate the curb. Front footwell courtesy lights are standard on this model too. Indeed, the story of care and attention to detail, which has resulted in such a comfortable rear environment for the passengers, applies equally here at the front. The specification is truly remarkable. The sunroof, power operated of course. In the overhead console here, useful mat lights. For the passenger, an illuminated vanity mirror. The fascia finished in an elegant veneer. And here's a clever trick. The top position of the seat belt can be lowered or raised, just like that, to suit the passenger's individual requirements. So you don't get that annoying belt cutting into the neck thing that you get with some unadjustable systems. The seats are trimmed in Athos and crushed velour. They're also heated. What's more, every seat movement is conducted under power. So the seats go forward or back under power. The back comes up or down under power and height or lowering, a 
achieved all through power operation. All Scorpios feature the A4LD automatic gearbox. Now, if you haven't come across this before, it really is truly remarkable. The fourth gear is like an overdrive. You can lock it out, leaving yourself with a conventional three-speed automatic gearbox, but slip into that overdrive gear and you really do have relaxed, high speed and very economical cruising. In fact, the economy figures derived from this gearbox are really almost unbelievable. They are producing figures within 1% of those produced by a conventional five-speed manual box. Scorpio is also fitted with variable ratio power steering. Now, this changes the gearing of the steering to suit appropriate road conditions. In other words, the steering is light and very responsive in town traffic situations or on winding country roads or parking. But as you go faster, so it stiffens up. So you get none of that oversensitive feel when travelling straight ahead at high speed on the motorway. The Ford fuel computer has been simplified, gives four straight readings, instant, average, fuel used, and range to empty. The stratified air conditioning is also a standard feature. There's the switch just up there. But one of the most intriguing features is something you can hardly see at all. It is a heated front screen. It's one of those things that you come across and say to yourself, why hasn't somebody thought of this before? It gives a very rapid de-ice performance. And on cold, wet and icy British winter days, it's something that you'll wonder how you ever lived without. In short, then, new Granada Scorpio must be pretty close to the ultimate vehicle for both driver and his passengers. But even so, there are a number of very exciting options which will appeal to lots of people. For instance, cruise control, enabling the driver to set and resume a continuous cruising speed, ideal for long-distance motorway journeys. The new viscous-coupled limited-slip differential, a cellular radio telephone option, rear seat belts, an integral anti-theft alarm, and a new graphic equaliser and a smashing rear compartment entertainment option. This means that you can plug in up to two pairs of headphones in the rear and cut out the sound in the car of either the radio or the cassette. Absolutely ideal for those occasions when the kids in the back want to listen to their favourite heavy rock music, but you don't share their tastes. Naturally, we've only had time to look at a few of the features and indeed the options offered by New Granada. But I'm sure by now that I have lived up to my promise. I have demonstrated that Granada is not just a new car. It's a new breed of car, a finely tailored product. By appraising the many different needs of the many different kinds of large car buyer, Ford have, with New Granada, created an excellent product, built with integrity and tailored exactly to your requirements.